We're back. It's round two. Uh, we're doing Tops 87 because I love this set. Uh, we're just going to rip this box. There's no, no way I'm going to find anything super cool because there's nothing super cool in the set because it's an insanely mass-produced set. Uh, just bonkers how many... I mean, there, there are actually worse, but this was a set that... I mean, there's still a lot of boxes out there. Still a lot of boxes. It was not hard for me to find a box. I think I paid 25 bucks per Jack Morris Surprisingly Hall of Famer. One good game, Hall of Famer. <laughs> Just all right, otherwise. He doesn't pitch that game. No way he's in the Hall of Fame. Uh, Sabre, not in the Hall of Fame. Much better pitcher than Jack Morris. I'm going to put him right on top of Jack Morris, and he's going to he's gonna stay there. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to take Jack Morris on this. No, no, I like Jack. I met Jack once at a restaurant. I said thank you like a dork. I just said, literally, I just walked up and said thank you. And I walked away because I was panicked. Because, I, you know, it is a seminal memory. He said, you're, he said, you're, what? I don't even know. He said, you're welcome. I don't know. I, I'm a chump. What can I say? I, I, I can't handle myself. I got embarrassed. But I wanted to say something to him because it was one of the coolest. Oh, there's Bonds. Nice. It's one of the coolest things that happened in my life was when he pitched that 10 inning. I mean, it was mad. It was a crazy game. Okay, I think that corner looked okay today, y'all. I'm a little, I think that corner might be a little sort of sweet music. Gwyn. Just a nice, just a nice card. That Gwyn card. Nothing, nothing special, but a nice card. It's just like he's ready to. He's about to do his thing, and he's better at his thing than like anybody has been. Uh, kind of ever, right? Like, it, like isn't Maddox the one who's who's like, I love pitching, except for to Tony fucking Gwynn or something like that. I think that's that's an anecdotal story. Just like only guy he didn't want to pitch to. Greg Maddox is, doesn't want to pitch to you. That's that's messed up. I mean that that means you're pretty good. Um, all right, we're just gonna I'm gonna try to keep the pace up. Jim Key, pretty good. I'm probably gonna repeat myself. <laughs> Checklist. Billy Bean, look at you. Wait, no, is this the same? Is this the right Billy Bean? This is the wrong Billy Bean. Is this Chris Cal? It would say that he was El Mets, June 1980. Again, super embarrassing. I don't even know if this is, is this the gay Billy Bean? <laughs> is this the GM Billy Bean? Uh, but yeah. I, I'm, I apologize for not knowing that um, I'm a bad, I'm not very good at this, I'll be honest. I know a lot about baseball and I still don't know way more about baseball than I know. And there are so many people who know more than me and I bet everyone who actually takes the time to watch this uh, it's it's a high likelihood that they know more than me, so thank you for tolerating my ignorance. Oh, ah, uh, oh, that freaking gum card! Get out of here. Good. One of the oh man, I hope, I really hope there's not a gum card Barry Bonds that will. Yeah, look at Franco. Look at oh, barely any games. He pit, he played for Summers only. Gary Pettis, okay. For them, pretty good. I need more Wills. Oh. Jerry Rice, he looks, maybe he's the guy who's like not even 40, it's 87, this is 1987, he was born in 49, 59, 69, 79, 89, yeah, he's not, he's 38 in that photo, he looks 55, I said it about somebody else earlier, but I meant Jerry Rice, <laughs> early old man, that's cool, nothing wrong with being an early old, that's, uh, you know, that's how you get to be Al Swanjit. Right? He's, what are you gonna do? He's, he's an early old. He's, he looks incredible. I, I I am a candidate for being an early old because of the uh, the widow's peak, the absurd widow's peak that I have. Uh, uh, Roger Craig. Uh, that that's like a key indicator of a, an early old. But but I got long hair and I'm trying to look youthful for some dumb reason. So and actually I'm not an early old. I'm just old. I'm over forty. Reggie. Spring fever. Okay. We're in a bit of a drought here at Gruber. Pretty good. I haven't set down a card in a while. Tops. 
talking to you. Just because it's 30 something, 30 some years. God, he's dirty. I will say that the end cards are dirty. That's it. I should be throwing away the other end card too, not just the gum end card. Probably, but whatever. Again, this set isn't worth anything. Billy McGee, pretty good. Who? What? Dave Monoma. Never heard of him. Wade Boggs. I don't know anything about Wade Boggs. He's good. He's good enough to be a Hall of Famer. He's got a couple of. He's got a pretty, pretty stellar peak, right? Maybe one one MVP. Uh, one was, oh man, the golden age of the '80s when the Red Sox sucked and the Yankees sucked. That was awesome. Oh. Ooh, that's embarrassing. Uh, that that dampens my enthusiasm about the the 80s being so sweet because the Yankees were not very good for most of the decade. I think they still made one World Series, but you Rick's free with Mike Schmidt, Hall of Famer, uh, and the Red Sox. I don't, oh yeah, they <laughs> I they did lose one. Check this. Steve Sachs, great in the Simpsons episode. Uh, What was I saying? 629. Okay, we're moving at a better clip this time. Oh, the Red Sox. They did make one World Series, now that, now that I think about it. Uh, sorry about you. Bill Buckner. I haven't seen a Bill Buckner card. Is this a Tartable rookie? Yeah. He was almost okay. He was okay. I bet he's got... I bet Danny Tartable's got 15 more. If I... I would... Nixon, Herbie, Minnesota. You gotta love uh, Mario Soto. Uh, yeah. You gotta love a Minnesotan that wins a World Series. Mike Sosha. Is he? Is he a Hall of Famer? He won one World Series as a manager. He won one as a player. Good catcher, played forever. I would uh, I would play a what what do you think that guy's war is game all day. Uh, I don't have anyone to play with. <laughs> I don't know. I probably could find somebody. It's probably it's probably an MP, not a YP, not a not a world beach. Clark, great card, great card. I mean, just a beautiful design card. I'm gonna set this aside just because it's a beautiful card. I think that's a highlight of this set. It's memorable to me. A Rafi Palmero. We don't have this one yet. It's a great, that's a fun card. Sweet stroke. Phil Necro. If he's not a Hall of Famer, he's gonna be. Just because he counting stats his way to Hall of Fame. Devon White, pretty good. Like Veterans Committee Hall of Fame, if he's not already in. I don't think he's in. And I know. Oh, actually, isn't he the guy whose peak is really pretty underrated? Like he, he didn't win a lot, he didn't get a lot of wins because he was on shit teams. But he was actually like his his isolate his expected stats were were like good for several years. Yes, Ricky, Ricky in a Yankees uniform. Hate that he's in a Yankees uni uniform. Sorry, uh, I'm a hater. What are you gonna do? But love the player. Butera, not a Butera sighting. Pete Rose. I'm a I'm a big. I'm going to set it aside because I think he might be. Manager Hall of Famers? Do not know very well. Uh, yeah, Phil Necro. I think his expected sets and his war. Is he, I think he's got he's got a bonkers high war, if I remember right. I, oh, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to follow it. Is this McGuire? Yeah, it's McGuire. Oh, look, at look at those spots. Look at those printing spots. Oh, mother scratcher. That is a drag. Are you also stuck to... Oh, no, no. Dude. Well, that's that's unfortunate. Bill Buckner, also unfortunate. Strawberry. Uh, Ozzy. Man, man. I just realized I haven't been watching the time, and I haven't been watching the if the cards are in the frame, because I'm just I'm trying to be in the moment, y'all. I mean, look at how scattered all these cards are. I'm not, I'm clearly not working too hard to uh, be precise. 
I think this might go longer than the first video because I want to wrap this box up. I'm not going to... I'm not going to uh, go on to a third video, but i got to pick up the pace because it looks like I might have a dozen packs or so left. Twins, leaders. Ooh, the twins. Puck it, puck it, puck it, puck it, puck it. Randy Bush. Great name. Caddy Atherton, Blylevin, Blylevin. Yeah, Blylevin. Blylevin's there. He is a Hall of Famer. A Lear, Hall of Famer, Hall of Fame manager. He's still managing at this point. Love that Ricky card. So I've seen that Ricky card. Does that mean I'm going to see a bunch of cards that I already have in Daryl? Daryl's not a Hall of Famer. Interesting. He was a, he was a, you know, he was a good get. He wanted the Daryl Strawberry cards. Uh, back to Ted Simmons. Yeah, that sounds old. Uh, I mean, I guess it certainly looks like it from the back of his card. I feel like Ted Simmons feels like it's the wrong era. Like, he shouldn't be in 87. He should be in, like, 67. Rhino. At some point, I'm going to buy a box of 83 because that's the Rhino rookie card. And is it Boggs also a rookie card? And maybe a third player. Uh, wash. We love. Man, I'm gonna set this. I just twin, twin bench. Co uh, uh, not bench coach. Twin uh, third base coach. First base coach. Third base. Third. Third base coach. I think. Damn. My, mm, anyway, before he was manager of the Rangers, it was Pittsburgh Pirates leaders. Oh, that sucks. Cause that's Bonds. That's, nope, it's not Bonds. But you don't. Wait, 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 wait. Is Bonds not... Sid Bream, Johnny Ray, Barry Bonds, only wherever home runs, RBIs, steals? Stolen bases. Only thing he let the team in. Huh. I just, I just think of him as being incredible from day one. Jamie Moyer uh, might... Might have... Uh, when he feels a Hoffner. Might uh a veterans committee his way on in the into the hall. I'm I'm a big hall guy. I'm big obsessed with the hall, kind of to a fault. I know Hojo. I know uh, you know the effectively wild like all of the all the quant people, all the nerds. They're just like forget the hall of fame. We shouldn't even ha as writers. We shouldn't even have this power. And yeah, I get. I understand the flaws of the thing. It is weird and. Uh, anachronistic but not so much so that you can't just be you can't just kind of like it I mean I have a right to just not think too hard and be like well that's the one where they rank the best people dude ball player Jim Elon Hall of Famer oh really no I think he uh, Reardon very good closer for the twins back in the day uh, looks like we have five, six packs left. 13 minutes. Yeah, it's definitely not long. All right, so, I mean, this is literally, this is Junk Wax Rube, oh, day one, uh, first, this is the first go. So I, I do plan on doing, ooh, I do plan on, I do plan on doing this uh, a bunch of times with, um, with different boxes, I, I want to do all Junk Wax era stuff, and I want to do, I want to kind of, oh, wow, it's much brighter. I want to kind of chase stupid cards, uh, like, no, uh, stupid rare cards, like, I don't know if I can talk while I'm doing this. Uh, what, 91 Don Russ has uh, Elite Don Russ Elite Series, which includes a Ryan Sandberg autograph, which is a stupid hard pull. Uh... Do oh I want to do the mantle score series ninety one series two got to go after the one of those mantles who doesn't want to pull a Mickey Mantle out of a pack of cards you know uh, so a really really rare but you know those boxes aren't that expensive um, and then I'll I'll do a Steve Trout I don't know I just don't know if that has any if that dude has to do with Mike Trout or not. Uh -huh. Embarrassing. Jordan Brett, Hall of Famer, Goose, Doug Drayback. Pretty good. Um, I got the bottom packs. Stressing me out. Okay. Okay. 
we're good. That was the scariest moment so far. And the next scariest moment is going to be when I pick that Barry Bonds up off the table. I want to make sure that that doesn't uh, get damaged. Corey Snyder, bite. Shane Raleigh. Did I go to school? High school with Shane Raleigh? No, Shane Raleigh. Clemens should be in the Hall of Fame. Oh my God. I hate the PED thing. Pete. Oh, this is a rookie card, right? No, 86. 86. Uh, Joe Carter, how a big home run in since uh, no, not out. Uh, also on the background, for, for, not that any of you care, but it's Titans Cowboys Thursday Night Football. Uh, just, just giving you a lay of the land, <laughs> telling you uh, random things. Mulholland, pretty good. Zane, David Johnson, pretty good. Herzog, I think. Diaz Brown. Ah, I see those Pirates logos, and I'm like, uh, uh, ah. So it's what? Do I have the key cards out of the set? Henderson, McGuire, Palmero, Bo, and Barry. I think so. I don't think. I think I got one of all the, all the real studs. Everybody else, I, I don't know. Ripkin maybe. Uh, he he's he's got a devoted card fan base. Um, I don't know, I'm probably, probably, probably ED. Oh, we love Eric Eric Davis, very very good. Short too short a career I think to be a Hall of Famer, but his peak was de well, I'm pretty sure his peak was definitely Hall of Fame worthy. Really. Uh, the eye test. I get I always hear about the eye test of uh, how good he looked. Okay, final pack. Last pack. I think we've got everybody that of consequence. I'm not sure. Also, just a random fact. One more random fact. I saw the Topps Tiffany 1987 set on uh, eBay today, and I lost the auction. Uh, it was a good. It went for like 150. It was really low. I didn't want to spend that much, but it. it we, uh, whoever bought that got really lucky. That should have been more. Jim Rice, Jim Rice, no more favorite, I think. Yeah, 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 he is. Okay. Well, there you go. Fun stuff. We got, I think we collected pretty much everybody that we wanted to collect. So we got one of everything. Good. That's a that's about as good a box as you. I mean, I love for a collated box, a weirdly collated box, where it was like, I got four uh, Maguires or four Bonses, but what are you going to do? Okay. This has been Junk Wax Rube, signing off.